Hi, I'm Danny from House Fresh, and behind me are some of the best, cheapest air purifiers you can find in 2024. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you three of the best air purifiers for less than $100 based on testing of 72 different air purifiers. We perform our own in-house experiments looking at air cleaning performance, energy usage, and sound level generation. Unlike most of the videos on here, all of our recommendations are backed up by data that we share with you publicly. So be sure to check out the link in the descriptions for the full review of the devices I've featured today. Now you might recognize some of the units I talk about today, but I'm sure you're gonna be surprised by at least one brand you've never heard of. Before we jump into the recommendations, I first wanna talk about our testing process. We test air cleaning performance in the same room measuring 728 cubic feet. We first light an incense stick to fill our room with particulate pollutants. We then use a purple air laser sensor to track the levels of PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. This purple air laser sensor has been shown to be as accurate as EPA reference devices that cost upwards of $10,000. By continually tracking these levels, we can produce graphs that show how effective an air purifier is at removing these tiny particles from the air. Because we test air purifiers for ourselves, we know we can be confident of how well they work in the home. We also track the levels of sound, because if an air purifier is too loud, it's unlikely to be used. The perfect air purifier can clean a lot of air and be as close to silent as possible. We also look at energy levels. Air purifiers have to be left on to run continuously, so these costs can quickly add up. But it's not just energy costs you need to consider. Filters need to be replaced. So we track the price of OEM filters and generic filters so you can be clear how much it will cost to run this device. Then we test this air purifier in our own home, looking at features and also uncovering any issues that might only become apparent after months of usage. With all this data in hand, I'm pleased to say that our top budget air purifier for 2024 is the Titronix AP003. Now, I bet you haven't heard of this brand or this device, and the reason is because it's not sold on Amazon, and I've not really seen any sort of marketing. It's regularly found on eBay for less than $100. We first discovered this device in 2021 from the COVID-aware community on Twitter, also now known as X. And the reason they were talking about this device was because of how well it did on its KDAR test for the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers. It had a dust KDAR score of 202 CFM, which means its cost per dust KDAR was just 49 cents. To put this into perspective, the popular Levoit Core 300 had a cost per dust KDAR of 67 cents. The premium Dyson TP07 had a cost per dust KDAR of $6.96. The only other device that we tested that had a better cost per KDAR was a device you had to build yourself called the Corsi Rosen Hole Box. Whilst KDAR is a good start when evaluating air purifiers, there's sometimes errors and there can be just plain wrong data. So we had to test this device for ourselves in the same 728 cubic feet test room. When we tested this device, it cleaned all PM1 particles in just 26 minutes. In comparison, the $400 Allen 45i took 33 minutes. For sound, it only hit 54 decibels, and at speed two, it was 43.8 decibels, which was well in line with all the other air purifiers we tested. For energy usage, it only hit 36.5 watts at its highest fan speed, which is very impressive and very similar to the Levoit Core 300, which took much longer to clean particulates from the room. Whilst you can't buy this device on Amazon, you can find a ton of filters on Amazon, which are fairly priced. You can get two filters for $34, which is enough for one year. And if you add up electricity costs, that will bring your total running cost for one year to $65.47. I mentioned earlier that this Titronix device is not on Amazon, and the reason is, is because the company behind it was kicked off of Amazon back in 2021 for review manipulation. This means that you can't find it on Amazon, and probably the best place is either go directly to Titronix, but I often find that it's out of stock. So a place to regularly check is eBay in the UK and the US stores. For those looking for the best bang for your buck, the Titronix AP003 is the best budget air purifier you can buy in 2024. 
Next up, we have another great budget device, the WinX A230. If you're looking for a device that you can buy on Amazon, then this might be the device for you. It's regularly found on Amazon.com for less than $80. And it has a great KDOR score. It had a dust KDOR of 154 CFM, which is impressive considering its cost. When we tested this air purifier in the same test room, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 36 minutes. Now onto the potential downsides. It ran a little loud at its highest fan speed, hitting 57.9 decibels. It was also fairly energy intensive. It used 45.6 watts at its highest fan speed. But filter costs were fairly low because you only have to change them every 12 months. So total running costs for this device was just $95. It's worth mentioning that smaller devices like this often have a similar running cost to much larger devices that can clean a lot more air. So whilst you might save initially on a small device like this, you might find that it's more economical to run a bigger device. Another downside of this device is the gas filter. It uses impregnated fabric rather than the pelleted activated charcoal that we saw in the Titronix AP003. And this will be less effective for gas and odors. But this is still the best air purifier that we tested for less than $80. The final budget air purifier we are recommending today is a little bit different as it's an air purifier you can build yourself. It's called the Corsi Rosenhole Box or CR Box for sure, and it was invented during the COVID-19 pandemic. It was designed as a way for Americans to build an air purifier themselves with parts that were easily available. All you need is a box fan, four HVAC filters of MERV 13 grade, some duct tape, cardboard, and you can build one yourself. You might have the parts already in your own home, but if you don't, it's gonna cost you around $80 to put together. And based on the KDAR from Dave Elstrom and others, it's around 29 cents per dust KDAR, which is the best we've ever seen. Now, when we tested this RCR box in the same test room, we test all of our air purifiers, we were pleased to see it removed all PM1 pollutants in just 25 minutes. It's not all perfect though. The CR box is fairly large. I would love to put it on this table, but it's a large device. And it also can be quite loud depending on the box fan. Our device hit 60.7 decibels from three feet away. It only pulled 46.7 watts at its highest fan speed, but it also doesn't come with any sort of gas filter or any of the features that you find even in the most basic of air purifiers. But for those willing to build it, the CR box is great. It may be that you can build your own air purifier with parts you already have in your own home. And it's perfect for dealing with unexpected issues like wildfire smoke that you have to deal with right now. Before we finish, I also want to include a device that costs a little over $100, so I didn't want to include it as our main recommendation. It's called the Lavoie Vital 100S. Whilst it has an RRP of $139.99, I noticed that it's regular on Amazon.com for around $109. So some of you might be happy to pay those extra $9 to get access to this device. When we tested it in the test room where we test all of our air purifiers, it cleaned all PM1 pollutants in just 28 minutes. And it was also energy efficient. It only pulled 27.3 watts at its highest fan speed. It was also on the lower end when we tested its sound. It only hit 53.8 decibels at three feet away. One thing I really like about this device is the features it gets. So it has full app support, so you can connect your phone to use your smartphone to use it, an auto mode, but it also comes with a removable pre-filter and has activated pelleted carbon. So whilst it's not less than $100, it's still a device that I think you should consider. With this video, I've tried to choose devices that have high performance for the lowest initial cost. But in general, I recommend that most people spend a little more. Devices like the Lavoie Vital 200S or the WinX 5502 cost more at around $189, but have similar running costs to the smaller devices. But if you have a limited budget, then these are the best budget devices you can find in 2024. Another thing to be aware of is the market is full of cheap, small devices costing less than $50. And I'm here to say I've tested these devices and they're next to useless. These companies prey on the fact that people have limited budget, but have no idea whether they're actually working because most households don't have a laser air quality sensor. So avoid those devices and stick to the budget ones I recommend today. 
Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of my budget recommendations for this year, and also let me know if there's any devices that I need to test for next year's list.